We in Whistler for the 2017 um, Cancer Immunotherapy and Immunology meeting. Um, it's a very exciting meeting. There's over 600 colleagues attending. I think that, um, what is particularly exciting about this meeting is the large number of new data that have been presented. Data that have not been shared, that's not published, that's not been presented in any ab other abstract, but is presented for the first time here at Keystone. Um, it's particularly interesting to learn about the molecules that we all believe will be the next generation of, can of potential targets for cancer immunotherapy. For example, Vista, LAC3, TIM3, ICOS, TIGET, and also learning more about the molecular regulation of the PDL1, PD1 axis, um, as well as CTLA4. In 2018, um, I'm co organizing the next um, immunotherapy meeting for Keystone. It, it is called Cancer Immunotherapy Combinations. I'm co organizing it with Liping Cheng from Yale and with Lisa Cous um, Cousins from Oregon University. Um, we now know that checkpoint inhibitors have been established as a class, as a standard of care, as single agents or in combination for certain cancers. But we also know that most patients with cancers do not respond to checkpoint inhibitors or those that do respond will develop resistant disease. Um, so I believe with the dawn of a new era, by 2025, most, most patients, not all patients, but most patients with, with cancer will be treated with an immunotherapy. So how are we gonna integrate immunotherapeutics into standard of care cancer medicine? How are we gonna integrate immunotherapy with radiotherapy, with cytotoxic therapies, chemotherapy, with antibody drug conjugates, with tyrosine kinase inhibitors? Um, which models should we use that's going to help us to predict rational combinations? What will be the correct scheduling and sequencing? What pr which preclinical data can help us to inform us how to combine these molecules that is not um, all random, that is actually real rational combinations? So that's, that's the basis of that meeting. I think the meeting is going to be um, of interest to anyone that's interested in cancer in cancer biology, in cancer research, in cancer medicine, and in cancer treatment. Um, so the program is designed to cover basic cancer research and cancer immunology, as well as translational cancer immunology, as well as the latest insights into cancer therapy. So I really think the meeting is gonna be of interest to anyone with an interest in cancer medicine, cancer biology, from researchers, academic researchers, industry researchers, as well as clinicians working in the clinic. Immuno-oncology, as you all know, is moving very, very rapidly. A lot of new information, new data being produced daily. Um, so I suspect a year from now, there'll be a lot of new molecular insights. There'll be a lot of new preclinical data. But most importantly, also for this meeting, first insights into some of the novel combinations that's being tested in the clinic.